What's going on, everybody? It's Jazzy Mike with the Jazzy Gang, and I'll be real with you. This is my second time recording, so I'm just going to try to be as efficient as possible. What happened was I recorded this. I literally just recorded all of this, and then I found out that my mic wasn't recording my voice, so we're just going to do it again. This is me playing VGC. Series 1, 2023, Gen 9, Pokemon Showdown. What I have here is, I don't even know what type of team you want to call this. It's not like a specific team. It's just like a bunch of Pokemon I wanted to use, you feel me? This is my third version of the team. I really wanted to use Scizor and Dragonite, and Dragonite wasn't pulling its weight, so I came up with this. This is my first attempt at a team. We have... Scizor, Mousehold, Toadscrew, Murkrow, Serilege, and Hydreigon. Hydreigon and Serilege I got from that champion winning team from the first tournament. I just I just extracted those mods from that team and put it in this team. And, it, and it's been working out really well so far. Uh, so let's get into these games. As you can see, we're already in turn two of the first game. They brought rain, so I brought Hydreigon because it resists water types. And it also just has enough coverage for literally everything else on its team. Uh, I forgot who else I brought this game. I think I brought Serilege because I could turn into a grass type just in case. And I'm assuming I brought Scizor. So I tried to foul play Serena here. I thought that would kill. It did not. I protected to protect from the play rough that I knew was going to come out. Let's see what happened. Um, I foul play again. What do I do here though? I, I, I don't know. I don't think I terror typed Hydreigon because he turned into a fire type. That wasn't. That wouldn't really help me here, so I just need to see what he, what I did, because I don't remember. So I go into Toad Screw. That makes sense. That makes sense. He jet punches my Murkrow, bodies me. <laughs> I didn't know that I brought Toad Screw this game. This is a good game to bring Toad Screw to. He jet punches me. I get in Sarah Ledge. I go ahead and Terra. What do they call it? Like Terra? I Terra up? Like I Terra Terraform? I Terra. I Terrestrialize? I Terrestrialize here. Because I'm a Terra Grass type. I got that from that winning team. I think that guy's name is Mark. It's Mark something. I'm, I'm sorry I don't know your name right now. But Grass type Sarah Ledge is the GOAT. I bulk up here because. I just figured he couldn't really do anything to me. I get in my Hydreigon here. And then, yeah, I Terra Blast Palafin and I Dark Pulse Palafin because Palafin is a huge threat and he switches out. And because he switched out, I got to take his Serena and I got to get in a Terra into his Pelipper. And, uh, yeah, you know, that did a lot of damage. He brings in his Amoongus. I'm like, bet. I'm going to one-shot that with Bitter Blade. You feel me? And I'm going to Dark Pulse to Pelipper. So I thought he was going to switch out his Pelipper here because I thought he might want to get the rain back up, which I, I think makes sense because then he would have got, you know, more damage off on his Palafin. Also don't know. It doesn't look like he terrored yet. Let's see. So he hurricanes. He misses because he doesn't have the rain up. If he would have had the rain up. Oh, I doubled the Amoongus because I wasn't sure if the Bitter Blade was actually going to kill him one hit. And I didn't want him to like spore or something dumb like that. You know what I'm saying? So he gets in Palafin. Oh, he did. did is that Terra Palafin? Or... Regardless, we murk him. <laughs> Drop the Draco. <laughs> Bodied him. Next game. Ugh. 
so we got game two i'm going off against a pretty interesting looking sand team i don't know if this is like standard because i haven't been playing the game that much so i feel like this is um this is standard but i just i'm unsure you know but it looks cool like it got the houndstone i've never gone against a houndstone before so i just didn't i don't know what people like to do with it i see they have murkrow for other like speed advantages so here right i'm thinking with mouse hold right i'm like lichen rock is mad frail i'm just gonna tailwind and population bomb the lichen rock right makes sense right like that's just gonna i'm just gonna kill it because he has focus sash i'm like all right you know what i'm saying like population bomb is gonna do what it needs to do so then me and old boy get into a whole conversation about oh is a mouse hole three better than mouse hole four and i'm like nah mouse hole three and mouse hole four is like the same thing the stats don't change he's like where 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 and yeah you feel me i'm like yeah i'm a tailwind here i'm a tailwind here because i'm assuming that like mouse hole is pretty fast so I thought, you know, I was just gonna outspeed Lycan Rock. Like, of course, Lycan Rock has um, Lycan Rock has Excel Rock. But I'm like, that Excel Rock's not gonna kill me. I'm like, yeah, Mouse Hole's mad fast. I'm a population bomb the Lycan Rock, and it's over. No, Lycan Rock is one speed point faster than Mouse Hole. So he bodies me. He literally, he, he, he I, I'm embarrassed. He embarrasses me. <laughs> he, he literally embarrasses me there. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to tear grass on Sarah Ledge and I'm going to swords dance on Scizor because I know if I swords dance on Scizor, I can one shot the T-Tar. That's what I'm thinking. That's, that's literally all I'm thinking. I'm a, I'm a swords dance, Scizor, Terra. Terra Grass on Lycan Rock, and I choose to Bitter Blade here. I chose to Bitter Blade there. I'll give you a reason why. I chose to Bitter Blade there because I thought he was going to use Rocks, Double Rock Slide. But he didn't. He did Close Combat, which makes sense because he probably thought I was going to turn to Pure Steel type, which I did not because I, di I really didn't need to. So, watch how much this Bullet Punch does. I'm so serious. Look at this. Look at this. Watch this. Any day now. I kill him. Bing! <laughs> I don't know. It's just very satisfying to like pop a fully full health T Tar with a bullet punch. It just feels so good. So he gets in Houndstone, he gets in Garchomp. So I, I messed up here. Okay, what I should have did is I should have just got rid of Garchomp first. I, I really thought that bullet punch was gonna kill, honestly. I really did. It didn't, it, it, it didn't. So, so he killed me, he killed me. Did y'all know, I lost that game. Did y'all know that Garchomp, like Garchomp is disgustingly strong like you see it all the time so i i never really knew how strong garchomp was like i knew he was strong because everybody uses him but like he has 108 hp 130 attack 95 defense 85 special defense and 102 speed like he outsped one of my mons the other day and i was like what the hell he's not that fast he is fast oh he outsped my hydreigon boy is fast <laughs> it, it, it really bruh so anyways we're going up against palafin and Didi. i'm like murkrow's not gonna be able to do much here because of the psychic terrain so i'm like i'm just gonna foul play and so here every time i see palafin i just draco meteor that slight immediately because he's not i know he's gonna switch out and he didn't switch so i killed him and I was hyped. I was like, bet. Now that, that was actually gonna be really hard to deal with. So now right here, right? I, I don't know what to do. I'm like, I'm a haze. I'm pretty sure I haze. And then I was like, I can dark pulse. 
or what do I do here? I don't even know what I did here. I didn't know what he was gonna do. I protected. What I wish I did, I wish I dark post. I just wish I dark post there. There was actually no reason to protect. Like not one. So I'm like, damn, I should have protected. Oh, cause I was trying to out, I was trying to stall out trick room. This is a trick room game, I forgot. Like I said, this is my second time recording, so bear with me. So I dark post here. I wish I would have dark post last game, cause then I would have been able to get rid of Armor Rouge. That would have gave me the momentum to get rid of Armor Rouge this turn. But then something crazy happened. I'll, let me, like, you'll see it right now. This is the crazy thing that happened. This is me. I'm still trying to stall out Trick Room. I shouldn't have protected here. I really. Well, it wasn't a bad turn, but I really should have just. I really wish I got rid of NDD like a whole turn ago. And I wish I would have Dark Post um, Armor Rouge last turn too, because he really. He, he, might, he, he, he had mind games on me that last turn. When he helping hand, he, he had mind games on me. He got me. So here, I, here I'm thinking like, all right, cool. I'm going to Bitter Blade the Annihilate. Did I Terra? I didn't Terra. He turned into a water type, yo. Whole water type. I was like, what? They do that? And I was Terra Grass. I didn't think I would turn into Terra Grass because I wasn't expecting him to turn into Terra Water. So it threw, it threw me off crazy. It threw me off crazy. I had no idea that Annihilate was going to turn into a water type. No idea. No clue. <laughs> I don't even know why he turns into a water type. Like, if somebody could let me know why he turns into a water type, let me know. But I was so confused. So I drop a Draco into Amarouge. It doesn't kill. <laughs> I should have Dark Posted. Why didn't I Dark Post? That would've, Dark Post would have killed, I, I assume. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm a bullet punch. I'm a bullet punch and then see what a Night Leap got for me. I still typed up, bullet punch. I shouldn't have still typed up, but I was like, I lost anyway. I may as well, I may as well go out swinging. You know what I'm saying? So I bullet punch it. Boom! Right? I died. That's it. That was the game. That's it. Lost. The Terra Water really, really threw me off, man. So we got the next game: Mouskirada, Murkrow, Dodonzo, Goldango, Sylveon, and Hydreigon. So anytime I see a Murkrow, I automatically bring my Murkrow to match Tailwind. And then I'm pretty sure I went with Hydreigon lead this game because, like, it takes care of everything on his team except for the Sylveon. But even with the Sylveon, like, I would just turn into. I would just turn into I um a fire type to resist typer voice. Which is exactly what I ended up doing here. As you see in a second. Um I don't really like to switch out turn one. Like I know I could have switched out into Maybe Scizor, but I just didn't want Scizor to take damage like that. And he had a throat spray on his Sylveon, which is pretty cool. I've never actually seen that before, but that's that's good tech. Maybe I have seen it before, but that's good tech. But I just reset it, you know what I'm saying? That's what Murkrow's for. He just pipes off another hyper voice, kills my Murkrow. So now I get in Scizor. I'm like boom. I'm about to just get rid of the Sylveon. But you know what I wish I would have did? I wish I would have got rid of. Wait, I think I get rid of Murkrow here too. Actually, never mind. Oh, I clicked Draco Meteor because I didn't know if Heat Wave was going to kill. But single target Heat Wave stab. It was already doing thirty-two percent. It would have killed. I wish I would have thought that one through, but I didn't. <laughs> and he protected anyway which works out for me. Actually, it doesn't work out for me because it's like his Murkrow's in for one more turn. So it can do something for one more turn, you know? So he gets in Hydreigon here. 
I might bet. I switched out into Sarah Ledge because I knew he was going to heat wave. So I was like, I'll get the flash fire boost. Then I was trying to decide if I should drop the Draco into Murkrow or if I should drop the Draco into Scizor because I didn't want him to have the um, Tailwind. I didn't want him to have the Tailwind advantage because I just figured if I don't get rid of Murkrow, get the Tailwind advantage. But is it really that bad if he gets the Tailwind advantage? I don't know. I dropped the Draco into... Who did I do it on? Yeah, into the Murkrow slot. So he gets in Goldango. I get my Flash Fire boost. He kills Hydreigon. And I really wish I would've just dropped it into Hydreigon there because Goldango is gonna go down to Bitter Blade 10 times out of 10. And while Scizor definitely doesn't wanna be in here, I could have probably gotten rid of Hydreigon this turn if I would have gotten some kind of, you know, some kind of damage into it last turn. So that's something that I would hopefully do. I will hopefully be better about this turn. I mean, next, next game that I run into a similar situation like this. Because Hydreigon was really the threat here. And I don't know what happened. I forgot Hydreigon was a dark type. I forgot I was a ghost type. So I lost my Sarah Ledge. And that's game. That's honestly game. I'm about to bullet punch here. But I said GG to him because I just knew this was game. I bullet punch. He misses Heat Wave. I'm like, wait a minute. It might not be game. It might not be game. Let me um let me get let me source dance up. It was game. <laughs> so, anyways, here we go. Game four or five, I don't know. I lost count. And we got another Trick Room team. I see Farigaraf. Farigaraf, for those who don't know, has Armor Tail ability. It's pretty much like Psychic Terrain. You can't use priority moves. So I'm like, all right, cool. I still get in Murkrow here, which was foolish. I wish I didn't do that. I should have went full offensive, but it is what it is. I take out, I bring in Murkrow here because I'm like, I'm a Tailwind. I'm a da -da -da -da. I don't know. I wanted to taunt, but I can't taunt with Murkrow specifically because Murkrow, Murkrow's taunt is priority, so it wouldn't have worked. I should have just tested it out, honestly, but I didn't. I didn't. What I should have chose is Hydreigon and... Sarah Ledge because Sarah Ledge resist fake out because I knew he's gonna fake out and I knew he's gonna fake out Hydreigon I just knew he was I knew he was that's what he did and he got up trick room and I'm like okay it's another trick room game I'm unsure of what to do but I want to get rid of Farigaraf I choose to switch in Sarah Ledge here Thankfully, because he turned into a fairy type. I didn't know that Farigaraf turned into fairy types, but it makes sense because they have the uh, Dazzling Gleam. So I get back out Hydreigon. I'm like, all right, I'll just turn into a fire type to resist, like, to resist Dazzling Gleam. I wanted to drop a Draco into this Hariyama. And he headlong rushes me. I didn't know Hariyama gets headlong rush. That was a surprise. I Draco him. I Merc him. And then I get in the GOAT. Gastrodon. Now, all I'm gonna say is, Gastrodon was the wisest decision. <laughs> it was the smartest thing to add to my team. And you'll see right here, right now. So boom. I'm dropping a Draco into Farigaraf. Foolishly dropping a Draco into Farigaraf. Because he's a fairy type. I forgot. So it doesn't affect him. But luckily his Shadow Ball misses. Didn't, didn't do it anything. I forgot he was a fairy type. I felt mad dumb. So <laughs> I Dark Pulsed. Skeledurge here. And I opted for Muddy, 
did I do that? He protected. So I get the muddy water off. He protects. Does he? Does he have leftovers? Yeah, he does. And then I dark pulse here. I forget what I was trying to do here, but I was like, I need to get rid of Farigaraf. I need to get rid of. I didn't know who I needed to get rid of. <laughs> I needed to play smarter. I was just telling myself, they're like, yo, just play smarter. You're playing mad dumb these last two games, please. So Muddy Water takes out <laughs> Skeledurge. And we only have King Gambit left. And I just, <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Gatcha Don did this thing. I'm a little tired. I can't even front. This is my second time recording two times in a row. But it is what it is. So we, you know, we body him, he quits, and we win. And that's the game. And that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do all the YouTube things below. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Hopefully in the next one, I don't forget to hit record. Bye.